about a very interesting course taking place in the TO Graz, or starting the TO Graz, which is a space tech course, a curriculum in space systems and business engineering. Maybe something for our guys who want to extend their knowledge into business engineering as well. Otto. Thank you very much, Norbert. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, those who are present here physically and those uh, who will follow this now uh, online. So I will um, enlighten you in the next couple of minutes uh, on our new program in space systems and business engineering. So I will first give you a background and the focus of this studies program, then a little bit of the studies description, uh, then uh, the schedule, then where we will do that. It's not on one location, this is uh, on different uh, space venues uh, in Europe. Then I will introduce the key uh, lecturers and module managers and finally I will give you the contact, how you find us and how you can subscribe to the program. So uh, there's a significant need in uh, industry and uh, in the uh, space agencies for um, engineers uh, who have both an engineering background and also a sound knowledge of uh, business engineering. So the need is there, and uh, to satisfy this demand, uh, a course and a curriculum had been already uh, established uh, quite some time ago. It was hosted by the uh, Technical University uh, in, in Delft, and uh, it has been set up as a postgraduate academic uh, curriculum uh, which uh, is set up such that people will do most of their work uh, at home. So it is not disruptive to the normal work because uh, we are targeting a uh, particular... Um, can you just oh, help yeah, me? It doesn't... It okay, now yeah. it's... Uh, okay. That's, that should be. Thank you, a little bit of technical uh, fine adjustment. So here are the contents and the focus. So um, internationally recognized experts uh, will be teaching project management for systems, and space systems, business engineering, space mission analysis and design, telecommunications, earth observation, navigation, systems engineering, human space flight, and then interpersonal skills and leadership development, and then we will have uh, selected topics on uh, space systems engineering and a central case project. This is really an instrumental part. I will come to that a little bit later. And uh, this is a requirement. Uh, a master thesis has to be uh, written up by each participant. Uh, so there are two things. The central case project, uh, which is uh, quite uh, large in volume. This is done in teams but the individual contribution by each participant has to be written up in a thesis and it has to be defended as usual in front of a commission. So the target audience are post-graduate mid-career mid -care, mid professionals who will be the prospective future space leaders, but they must have at least five years of professional experience in a company, in a research institution, or in um, space agencies. There's uh, a significant element of distance learning elements, but there are also present sessions where uh, we gather over the whole 18 month period, the people to a particular location in Europe, you will see which ones, and there they will be attended um, and uh, taken care of by uh, the coaches, the space experts who are also uh, teaching these lectures. And um, the central case project, this is defined by industry or a space agency, and it has the typical uh, focus and contents of a phase AB study. Yeah? So um, the deliverable of that are typically 1,500 pages of study report, and uh, this is then given and owned by the entity uh, which has uh, assigned this and has defined this. Yeah? So basically, it costs money, but also uh, the entity who uh, defines this gets value for money because that can be used further yeah? uh, for some other uh, projects. And 
Uh, the benefit is that the participants learn to work in teams and uh, to solve a complex problem, uh, which is by definition interdisciplinary, because we are not lo only looking at engineering aspects, we are also looking uh, at uh, the business aspects, whether this is feasible, uh, whether there's a market, etc. And this all is supported by uh, the Scientific Advisory Board. Uh, the chairman of the Scientific Advisory Board is a known person, uh, the uh, former uh, Director General of ESA, Jean-Jacques Dordain. And I also should mention uh, the um, Honorary President of Space Tech is the Acting uh, Director General, Professor Jan Werner. So uh, we were successful to get them both uh, on board and uh, support us. So, um, as I said, a master thesis has to be uh, written up and then uh, you will be awarded the degree of a master of engineering uh, in space systems and business engineering. So there will be a nice ceremony in um, the uh, very fancy hall of the Technical University uh, and the rector uh, will then hand over the certificates. Um, it's particularly interesting because uh, the rector stands uh, uh, just uh, in front of a huge statue of the former Austrian Emperor, uh, Franz Josef, and it's all golden chandeliers in this room, so it's very impressive. Uh, particularly our friends from across the Atlantic, they're always extremely uh, uh, impressed by this. So, um, there's also the possibility not only to subscribe to the whole program with all the many modules, but also it's possible to subscribe to individual modules because we got from some companies uh, requests, okay, uh, we are only interested in telecommunications and not in human spaceflight uh, or the other way around. So this is also possible and the costs of that are then uh, accordingly reduced. So the duration of the program is three semesters or so 18 months. Everything will be taught in English and uh, that has to be compliant with the Bologna process, uh, which I believe uh, is known uh, to most of you. So it's equivalent to 19 ECTS uh, points. Um, so this is the requirement for a awarding a professional master. I mean, it costs some money, uh, but uh, what doesn't cost anything isn't worth anything. So uh, the attendance fee is 34,000 uh, euros, uh, no, no VAT there. And uh, the next course will start uh, on 1st of March 2016, and uh, we will accept applications up to the end of January of uh, next year. So here you can see uh, a schedule. Uh, we will start in March uh, with an online course on business, uh, no, sorry, on um, uh, project management. And then um, the second one, um, is a present session. Uh, this is also the official opening um, at the uh, TU Graz. And uh, is then. And, uh, 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 if uh, people at the remote places, please mute your microphone so that we don't get any echoes. Okay, so. the idea to transfer space tech uh, to Graz. Um, we had a nice discussion uh, over a good glass of uh, Italian red wine in, in Naples at the IOC in Naples where Ed made the suggestion and uh, he convinced me and then um, I convinced our uh, vice rector for studies uh, and then the rector and then our curriculum commission. This was the toughest job at all. Uh, because this was something which is a little bit out of the box and not so normal uh, in the curriculum, but we were successful and now we are ready uh, to start. So, the second present session will be then uh, next to, to CNES in, in Toulouse, in France. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, then uh, another one in October 2016 at uh, the Telecommunications Center Exat in Harwell in the UK. 
in January 2017 uh, at the German Space Operations Center in Oberpfaffenhofen, Germany, in April 2017 at Ezrin in Frascati, the data center, in July, <coughs> excuse me, um, still suffering from the effects of the air conditioning here, at Estec in Nordwijk, and then uh, the final one uh, will be at TU Graz, where the defense of the master thesis will be done, and finally the award of the um, certificates and uh, the, the master uh, degrees. So here uh, there are venues where the presentations take place. Um, the Telecom Center in Harwell, UK, Oberpfaffenhofen, Nordwijk, Frascati, Kness, and um, picture to the left here, uh, bottom left, uh, TU Graz. So now uh, it's time to introduce also some persons. <coughs> Project management will be taught uh, in an online course by Wiley Larsen, the Pope of uh, Systems Engineering. Uh, I believe everybody who does something in this area has his book on the bookshelf. Um, so he will uh, then uh, teach project, project management processes, um, introduce the tools and techniques which are necessary for managing uh, space systems uh, developments. Then the business engineering module, uh, there are several people, um, Annette Fröhlich uh, from German Aerospace Center, Norbert Frischauf and Rainer Horn from Space Tech Systems without an age. It's just a coincidence. This other one is a commercial company. This is an academic course. Uh, but uh, otherwise, uh, it's a nice coincidence, I have to say. So here, um, we will uh, look into new business creation, financing, market analysis, risk management, insurance, uh, space systems uh, in many cases have to be insured, but there are not so many opportunities, so this will be um, shown. Then also we will look into legal and regulatory uh, issues which have become more and more important, and uh, also, of course, uh, the central case project support uh, will be given. Randy Liefer from uh, TSTI uh, will introduce space system and mission analysis, designs and architectures. Then uh, system engineering tools uh, will be uh, shown. And then he will uh, tell the participants uh, how to design cost-effective uh, systems. And uh, then he will elaborate on spacecraft design and integration. Also, uh, Randy Liefer will uh, be uh, dealing with launches. Uh, so this is a little bit distributed. Uh, Professor Messerschmidt, whom I will introduce in a second, he will also talk a little bit uh, about uh, launches, but more geared at um, then uh, manned spaceflight. Very uh, well-known figure in space telecommunications is Professor Michel Bousquet uh, from France. So he will introduce telecommunication systems, look into development and market trends, and then uh, we will uh, then elaborate on uh, the variety of satellite communication systems. Manfred Wittig uh, will deal with regenerative communications payload and uh, geosatellites. Then um, we will deal with VSAT networks, mobile systems, uh, resource management in satellite communications, and also how to um, properly uh, register spacecraft frequency-wise. I mean, spectrum is getting scarce, and we have to look into a efficient use of uh, these uh, scarce resources. Also, Michel uh, will then deal with link budget uh, analysis and uh, how to dimension a link uh, properly. Earth observation is taken care of by Alain Glaze from CNES. So um, he will first introduce the physics of remote sensing measurements, then he will deal with the instruments, uh, both on the spacecraft and on the ground, uh, with uh, a variety of sensors, microwave, passive, and active microwave sensors, synthetic aperture radar, so the whole variety of sensors that are at disposal in modern Earth observation satellites. And then uh, we will show um, typical missions and applications uh, in atmospheric and meteorological climate and land observation, um, oceanic and coastal zone monitoring, and also um, then um, famous professor at TU Graz, uh, Professor Hans Sünkel, he will introduce satellite uh, geodesy. Uh, systems engineering, uh, this will be um, 
taught by Dine Schwermer, uh, so system engineering processes, the formation of project teams, identification of stakeholders and requirements, then how to generate, evaluate, and select the concepts. Uh, these are typical uh, contents of uh, this very important uh, lecture uh, module. Navigation uh, is um, dealt uh, with by Professor Tony Pratt. So we'll introduce navigation systems and the theory behind that. He will talk about all the present uh, GNSS uh, systems. Um, then also we will look into vulnerabilities and uh, jamming has become a concern. So how to deal with that uh, will be a topic. And uh, then uh, the integration of uh, navigation systems with other space-based services will be a topic there. Um, we have uh, added an additional module, and I'm very happy that the former ESA astronaut, Professor Ernst Messerschmidt, uh, who was also a professor at University of Stuttgart, he was also uh, head of the Astronaut Center um, of ESA. Um, so he will give the introduction on human spaceflight. Uh, then um, the past, the present, and the future of space stations then uh, space environment, hazards and effects, orbital segment design, um, deep space exploration missions, advanced subsystems for those missions, and this is a highlight, there will be excursion to the ESA Astronauts Training Center in Cologne. Interpersonal skills and leadership development is very important because um, people have to work in international teams, so people from different backgrounds and cultures have to work efficiently together. And Jeff Austin uh, will deal with that, uh, both uh, looking into the individual and into the teams, and how to form teams and how to resolve problems in teams. So this is something which is spread out over the whole period in order uh, that uh, the teamwork will run smoothly over the 18 months. So his support to the CCP will be also crucial. And then I have uh, the, the honor uh, to help in how to write uh, scientific um, and technical uh, papers, um, and uh, then I will help in the um, individual assignments and uh, help to feed all this um, outcome into international conferences. One of the founding fathers of uh, Space Tech, Ed Ashford, who is online here, uh, when I have forgotten something, Ed will help out uh, and will fill in the gap. So he uh, is the CCP head coach. He will um, um, help in the identification of potential customer needs and market opportunities, help in the market surveys, and evaluate sufficient customer demand. And also, which is very important when you set up a system, uh, do the assessment of the profitability for companies to offer developed uh, products. So um, this is my, my last slide here. So here are the uh, people whom you can ask and send emails to and contact. And I want to acknowledge in particular uh, the hard work of Peter Schrotter, who is the uh, Space Tech Program uh, Manager. So he has uh, prepared all the documentation. He uh, does the scheduling, and he is uh, the right person to help if there are problems and questions. So don't be shy and uh, send uh, any uh, queries you have uh, to Peter. So with this, thank you very much for your attention.